What is up guys? It's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. If this is your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're actually trying to hit a thousand subs. If you guys subscribe, you guys will see a little bit of my 2014 Cadillac ATS. This is a 2.0 turbo model and it has a six speed manual. And you'll also be seeing videos about a 2016 Ford Fiesta ST, as well as, you know, a bunch of IS300 stuff and a whole lot of other stuff. But so I'm going to be making a little video on the ATS today because a lot has happened in the past few months. Um, I haven't really kept you guys informed because it was honestly kind of a bummer, but it's very unfortunate to say um, the motor blew up. But since then, the car is actually running and driving now. Uh, the car has been fixed, but it did blow up. I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe the previous owner didn't keep up with it as they should have, and it prematurely blew up. So I'm gonna be making a video on this car today, and in the process, I'm actually gonna be installing a ZZP rear sway bar. I believe it's a ZZP. Um, I was gonna wait to make to make this video until I had the front. Uh, I'm actually I actually want to run a Eibach front sway bar and then a ZZP rear sway bar because I believe the ZZP rear one is actually thicker than the Eibach. So I intend to run that combination. I kind of want to let you guys know what happened to the car because I haven't really told you guys much. Um, if you guys actually saw the video where I addressed that the car wasn't running right. Um, my initial thought became reality and the car had a blown motor. But like I mentioned, the car is running and driving, so that's a plus. So I'm having to break the motor in right now, so it's currently in the break-in process. You already know how I am, so goodies will go back on. So guys, I haven't really mentioned this, but the car has gotten goodies, but I just haven't got them on camera. Um, so I will be making a more thorough video about this car very soon. But for right now, just a little cold start. Today I'm going to be switching out the sway bar right here. As you guys can see, this thing is very small. Um, so hopefully by upgrading to the ZZP one, I have, you know, more rear stiffness. Um, I know by just switching the rear one, I'm probably going to be introduced to more over, oversteer, but um, I'm not going to be pushing the car too, too hard right now. So it's all right. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, all it's held on by is two nuts or four nuts, because it would be two on either side, two, one right here, one right there. You gotta put an Allen in there and then like back that nut off and then basically the sway bar, sway bar comes out. Hopefully it's not routed too difficult back there. Um, let's see. Oh, the sway bar runs. Yeah, it runs right by the gas tank, right, right on top of it. Oh, I mean the fucking exhaust, gas tank, tripping balls. Um, but yeah, it runs right there by the exhaust. The whole sway bar install actually took a little turn. I don't know if it's for the worse or for the better, but... For the better. Um, it's for the better. I'm actually going to cut off this rear section of the exhaust just to be able to access the bolt that's up there. Uh, this rear section of the exhaust is actually in the way, so I'm thinking I'm going to cut it about here. Just so that the exhaust flows down instead of upwards. But it'll be basically a legit muffler dilly like it won't have a muffler i won't have that but big ass box right um i'm sure it's gonna help the sound some um this is low-key ricey as hell but uh since i'm gonna go ahead and uh do an exhaust setup very soon um i'm actually gonna try to do some one-off uh type of exhaust so um either way it's gonna get cut off so might as well do it now uh, it's not really gonna hurt the car by cutting off this section all it's gonna do is just produce more noise and possibly get tar on the bottom of your car but it'll be all right race car shit yeah but now i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it off what is up guys so i just finished making this into a piece <laughs> no i'm just kidding but um i cut the exhaust off like i mentioned in the last clip um 
um, so it's literally cut. Hit me right, up. I'll cut it. I'll cut it too. Right behind the subframe. So um, eventually, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a different type of exhaust. I don't want to reveal what exactly I want to do with it just yet because I don't want to have someone else steal my idea. But stay tuned. Yeah, coming soon. But um, the sway bar, I got it out. Here's the end link. Um, and here are the sway bars. So obviously the red one is a ZZP. Yeah, and, it's way too. and as you can tell, there is quite a bit of difference in the overall like diameter of it. It's like three times thicker than the OEM one. The OEM one is pretty thin. And I think this one's, I think this one's solid. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure this one is too. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the car. But first, let's let's weigh it. Let's start with this one. So it still has the. the start with questions. Yeah. So we'll see what it weighs. To. That but one's what eight, roughly. It's yeah. This one I want to see. No, it's about fifteen. Same thing. Fifteen, sixteen. This one was what? Eight. Eight. So about eight pounds. We're adding, or I'm adding onto the car, but I weighed the actual then, exhaust. Oh yeah, and then you took off the exhaust. I yeah. weighed the exhaust, which. It took like that whole area right there, all that. Uh, it actually weighed 30 pounds, so I'm still saving weight. It's not the proper way of losing weight. As you can tell, there's no longer an exhaust coming out from the things. As you guys can see, the car is back on the ground, so um, it was very unexpected, but the car did get a muffler delete. Gus's bourbon is based off in the background, but uh, the car does have a legit muffler delete now, so it legit has no muffler. It's basically cut from the uh, rear subframe backwards. And yeah, saving some weight in the process, as well as adding some weight with the sway bar. So guys, this is fifth gear. As you guys can see, the exhaust note is barely even noticeable. Only until you really push on the car, you really hear it. This is 2500 RPM and it's barely even heard. 715, sun's about to go so down. This is first gear. where I had to reach one of the bolts and it was like absolutely impossible so I got it on the sway bar feels a lot better um, it makes the the actual rear suspension feel more planted but until I really put some miles on the car I'm not gonna be able to really really like see what it does but for right now it's it's feeling good this is with the windows down the exhaust so you guys can hear it really mellow yeah it's really mellow it's not crazy at all as what you would ex like I was expecting way quieter but it just sounds very subtle and very like not raspy or anything it just it, it, honestly it just sound, it sounds pretty good like it's not loud like it has like a deep tone to it because of the, the resonator and still the OEM the cat and then the downpipe yeah yeah so I'm curious to see what it's gonna sound like with the 